Hey everybody, it's Gabe Finocchio from the Royal Royal, and we are back with another worship teaching series. This week we're talking about devotion. Now, when we talk about devotion, uh, it's really broken up into two components. The first is praise. And that's an interesting thing because many times we get praise and worship confused with each other. Really, and properly speaking, worship is a category. Worship is, it includes every single thing that we do within the Christian life uh, out of love for God. Whereas praise is one of the things that we do within the Christian life out of love for God. So really, worship includes our identity. I like to say that worship is who you are, and praise is what you do. Praise is lifting up the name of, of God. Psalm chapter 100 verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with singing, and enter into his courts with praise. Lifting his name up. And that's really what we're taught to do. Jesus taught us to do it in the Lord's Prayer. He said, when we pray, we ought to say, Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. The first thing we're supposed to do when we address God, entering into his presence, entering into his, his gates and into his courts, we're, su we're supposed to say, Lord, you're holy, you are righteous, you are awesome. And that is the, the heartbeat of praise. It's, it's thanking God, blessing him for who he is and for what he's done. Hebrews chapter 13 says, Therefore, by Christ, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. And so praise is characterized as a sacrifice. It's actually something that's going to cost you to do. Regardless of, of our situation and our circumstance, if we've had a horrible week, we're supposed to come into church and offer God a sacrifice of praise. But not even just on Sunday. We're supposed to do it on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday for the whole week. We're supposed to do it continually. And I love that it's, it's connected in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. It says, rejoice always and then it says, pray unceasingly. And then it, in verse 18, it says, and give thanks continually. And so praise and, and prayer are connected as something that we're supposed to do unceasingly. Connected as something that we're supposed to do uh, uh, continually. And so prayer is that next component. And prayer is something that's so difficult. I really personally think that uh, prayer is is so neglected by us because it's so difficult. <laughs> it, it's really the manual labor of the kingdom of God. Prayer is, it's a very difficult thing to do. But I will say this, there's a lot of folks who say, oh, Christianity is a, a relationship. It's not a religion. And yet those same folks will have no prayer life. <laughs> so my, my issue is, is that uh, I agree that Christianity is primarily a relationship with the Lord, but that relationship is actually housed uh, by prayer. Prayer is something that we do when we talk to God, and it's really something that we do uh, with each other. When you have a relationship with someone, you talk to them. You don't just, you know, if you were driving your car with someone for an hour, you wouldn't just ignore them. That would be rude. Well, how many of us drive our car for an hour without talking to God? You see, if we, as soon as we begin to talk to the Lord, that is prayer. And it can take place in any situation. But we are told to pray unceasingly. Prayer is not something that you're supposed to do in a one-hour segment once a day. It's actually supposed to be the thing that you do every hour of every day. And so praise and prayer are the two pillars of devotion. And they help to bring intimacy with uh, Jesus, intimacy with God. So I just wanted to encourage you with that today, and I want you to know you can get more of this information on our website. We'll have a PDF uh, with more information on, on this, more teaching on this, because it's something that is really important if we're going to grow in our relationship with God. Hope that blesses you. Have a great week. Whoa! Oh